Hello, Familia. So, the Lord reminded me of something that had happened last year. I believe it happened in August. I found it interesting. It must have been before maybe I started dating everything in this Bible, but I was reminded of something that had happened. And um, between Familia that lives very far away for a lot of the year. And it's in regards to the first less, excuse me, first Thessalonians chapter five. And I had written during, you know, just a, a moment of repentance, but then also just wasn't sure. You know, I just was really terror, quite frankly. And so obviously I'm giving that to the Lord and I had written, I belong to the light of the world. Yahweh, claim what's yours. And after a few more moments and, you know, it's thundering and it's lightning and I had heard there was a message on my phone that just come in. And it was in response to something I had sent the day prior when I used to just send out the picture scripture. And it was John um, chapter 8, verse 12. And it was a picture and um, saying that the sun coming through the trees had reminded this person, you know, of that scripture. And, it, and I'd just written that. And so I was just really blessed as I was reading through um, 1 Thessalonians 5. Because I thought, well, I'm going to go look. You brought that to mind, so let's, let's go take a look. And so um, I just hope it blesses you as well. I, just, I love the Word of God. Bless the Lord of oh my soul. About the times, so this is 1 Thessalonians chapter 5. About the times and the seasons... Brothers, you do not need anything to be written to you. For you yourselves know very well that the day of the Lord will come just like a thief in the night. When they say shalom and security, then sudden destruction comes on them like labor pains come on a pregnant woman they, and they will not escape. But you brothers are not in the dark for this day to overtake you like a thief. For you are all sons of light and sons of the day. We do not belong to the night or the darkness. Glory be to God. So then we must not sleep like the rest, but we must stay awake and be serious. For those who sleep, sleep at night, and those who get drunk are drunk at night. But since we belong to the day, we must be serious and put the armor of faith, the armor of faith, faith, familia, glory be to God, and love on our chests. The armor of faith and love on our chests. And put on a helmet of hope, of the hope of salvation, of deliverance. For God did not appoint us to wrath, familia, but to obtain salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ, who died for us, so that whether we are awake or asleep, we will live together with him. Glory be to God. Therefore, encourage one another and build each other up as you are already doing. And we ask you, brothers, to give recognition to those who labor among you and lead you in the Lord and admonish you and to regard them very highly in love because their work. Be it shalom among yourselves. And we exhort you, brothers, warn those who are irresponsible, comfort the discouraged, comfort the discouraged, help the weak, be patient with everyone, it says, be patient with everyone, familia. Glory be to God. <laughs> help us, Father, in Jesus' name. So see to it that no one repays evil for evil to anyone, but always pursue what is good for one another. And for all, glory be to God, may it be so. Rejoice always. Pray constantly. Give thanks in everything. 
for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. Don't stifle the spirit. Don't despise prophecies, but test all things. Hold on to what is good. Stay away from every kind of evil. Now may the God of Shalom himself sanctify you completely. I love our God. Now may the God of Shalom himself sanctify you completely, Familia. And may your spirit, soul, and body be kept sound and blameless for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, for Messiah Yeshua. He who calls you is faithful, who also will do it. He who calls you is faithful, who also will do it. Brothers, pray for us also. Greet all the brothers with a holy kiss. I charge you by the Lord that this letter be read to all the brothers. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May his shalom and his grace and his mercy and his love rest upon you. In the mighty name of Jesus, Familia, I pray. I love his word. And I just love being able to bless others with it. Letting him take it and do as he pleases. Because that's what he's going to do. And so I would like to plan things to love like this. I love that, Familia. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Hallelujah and amen. Bye, Familia.